I'm Ainsley Munger. And I'm Paige Dosek, and we are from the Bakken's FCCLA chapter, and we are competing at the third level. And this is Leah's specially designed nutrition plan, 100% nutrition. Leah is a 16-year-old female volleyball athlete that is 5 feet and 8 inches tall and weighs 150 pounds, which she would like to maintain. She would like to learn how to properly fuel and hydrate her body in order to compete at her full potential and gain muscle mass. Leah is a very active student athlete. On weekdays, she attends school from 8 a.m. to 2.35 p.m., and her after-school activities consist of practice from 3 to 5, lifting from 3 to 4 on Sundays, and then, of course, game days. Outside of school, Leah also volunteers at her church and works at the plaza. For Leah's nutrition plan, we wanted to focus on assuring that she receives the proper water intake and is eating foods that will assist her in specifically building muscle mass and performing at her best throughout all of competition. Our first goal is proper hydration. Hydration is key in order to replenish and regulate Leah's body temperature. Leah's goal is to drink at least one gallon of water each day. During physical activity, the body produces perspiration because of the, the body temperature is increased greatly. Water is crucial for thermal regulation and replenishing water, water the body loses through sweat. It also helps prevent numerous health issues like heat exhaustion and cramps. Dehydration can also cause headaches and dizziness, which can affect the athlete's performance. In comparison to hydration, nutrition also plays a vital part in an athlete's performance. Our second goal is to guarantee that Leah's nutrition plan will benefit her muscle gain and performance on the court and in the weight room. In order to increase muscle mass and maintain weight, Leah's nutrition plan needs to consist of loads of protein, healthy fats, and carbohydrates. When protein is consumed, the body breaks it down into amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of our muscles. During heavy exercise, little tears develop throughout the worked muscles. This is where amino acids play a huge role. Amino acids repair and grow muscle fibers, causing the muscles to become stronger. Also, when enough protein is ingested, the body will enter into a nitrogen balance. A positive nitrogen balance encourages the body into a muscle building state, which is an ideal in Leah's situation. When completing high intensity workouts, it is very important to eat carbs and healthy fats. Healthy fats include avocado, olive oil, nuts, nut butters, salmon, and many more foods. Fats provide energy for the body and make up the majority of energy throughout the duration of high intensity workouts. Fatty acids like omega-3 also play a role in muscle recovery. Omega-3 acids regulate inflammation. After a workout or competition, muscles can be inflamed and can lead to soreness, decreased range of motion, and longer recovery time. Implementing healthy fats into Leah's diet will reduce inflammation and provide her with energy to compete at a higher level. As Leah continues to push her body during workouts or games, muscle glycogen begins to be used up. Glycogen is carbohydrates that your body has digested and broken down. Muscle glycogen is where the body stores carbohydrates. Because the muscle glycogen is being used up, the body requires more carbs for energy. Many assume that the body will lean out on low-carb, high-protein diets. Although this is incorrect because low-carb diets will only hurt the muscle building process because without energy, the body will not be able to compete at the highest level. This is why Leah's diet will consist of carbohydrates in order to ensure plenty of energy and a beneficial muscle building workout. Leah will eat a lot of carbohydrates the night before competition, or it's also known as carb loading. Carb loading will provide Leah's body with plenty of stored glycogen for her to utilize during competition. This will ensure Leah can not only compete at a high level, but also be able to maintain the high level of play with strength and endurance to last throughout the entire game. Leah's meal plan will consist of three bigger meals and two snacks in order to ensure that her body is constantly receiving the energy she needs to get through her active day. Leah will eat a breakfast meal before school. About two and a half later, two and a half hours later, Leah will eat a nutritious snack. Then Leah will eat lunch two hours after her morning snack. An hour before Leah's workout, she will eat a pre-workout snack. Leah's pre-workout snacks will contain foods that are simple for her body to digest in order to ensure that there is no stomach discomfort throughout her workout. Her snacks will contain carbs and some proteins. Examples of some pre-workout snacks include Greek yogurt and fruit and apples with peanut butter. Before a game, we will eat a protein bar of her choice that contains a lot of carbohydrates and a fair amount of protein. Volleyball is a game of many quick movements. Jumping vertically when blocking, transitioning quickly to play defense, running and diving to save a ball, jumping vertically, and out and in order to hit a ball, and many more. Volleyball players use strength, endurance, agility, speed, power, balance, hand-eye coordination, flexibility, and they must be mentally strong. 
This is why nutrition and hydration are so important in order to keep Leah's physical and mental state in check. A typical week for Leah consists of practice every weekday for two hours, unless she has a game, which is normally two to three times a week for about an hour to an hour and a half. Leah's practices and strength training sessions consist of sprints, stretching, game simulation drills, and heavier lifting. We will now walk you through one day of Leah's nutrition plan. We calculate the amount of calories for each three item using MyFitnessPal, which is a mobile app Leah can access on her phone. Today is Tuesday and a non-competition day. At 6.30, she'll drink a glass of water, which is zero calories. For breakfast at 7.30, she'll have one blueberry bagel, which is 210 calories, with one tablespoon of cream cheese, which is 51 calories, one turkey sausage patty, which is 90 calories, eight ounces of strawberry banana smoothie, which is 140 calories, and a glass of water, which is zero calories. At 8.15 and 9.30, she'll also have additional glasses of water, which are both zero calories. At 10 a.m., she'll have a snack, which is one cup of red peppers, which is 46 calories, and two tablespoons of hotness, which is 70 calories, and a glass of water, which is zero calories. At 11.15, she'll have one glass of water, which is zero calories. For lunch at noon, Leo will be eating one cup of quinoa, which is 222 calories, 3.5 ounces of grilled chicken breast, which is 165 calories, one cup of roasted broccoli, which is 40, 40 calories, three and a half ounces of steamed Brussels sprouts, which is also 40 calories, and a glass of water, which is zero calories. At 1.15, she will have another glass of water. At two o'clock, she'll have her pre-workout snack, which is eight ounces of plain Greek yogurt, which is 40 calories, and one cup of strawberries, which is 49 calories, and another glass of water. At three o'clock and during her training, she's gonna have three glasses of water during that time. At six o'clock, she'll eat dinner. She'll have a medium baked potato, which is 161 calories, a salad that contains two cups of spinach, which is 25 calories, one large carrot cut up, which is three calories, three and a half ounces of grilled chicken breast, which is 165 calories, half an avocado, which is 125 calories, and a glass of water, which is zero calories. At 7.15, 8.30, and 9.30, we will have glasses of water, which are all zero calories. Now this is a day that was just for practice. Here's another day that is for practice, and last but not least, we have our day of competition. So now is the time to take action. After hearing Leah's goals, we helped her form a nutrition plan made specifically for her through research and talking to dietitians to receive their feedback as well. Leah's nutrition plan shown covers the course of three days, one game day, and two non-competition days. Our evaluation of Leah's plan is that if followed, Leah will be able to maintain her current weight of 150 pounds and gain muscle mass as long as her physical activity remains constant and is not reduced greatly. Leah's plan assures she will receive enough water to keep her hydrated on non-competition and competition days. It also focuses, focuses on implementing the three major food groups, proteins, carbohydrates, and healthy fats, to enhance Leah's performance on and off the court. Thank you for listening to Leah's 100% nutrition plan. Thank you. As I'm going to be going to college next year, um, because I'm a senior in high school, I'm going to use this all of the information I've learned to this to properly hydrate and fuel myself so that the freshman 15 doesn't happen to me. And I can use the skills I've learned throughout this project to um, use during, out, during my senior volleyball season next year and to be able to perform at the peak of my potential. And an obstacle that we faced during the completion of this project was time management and learning how to coordinate our busy schedules. Um, we're both involved in many extracurricular activities and sports that it was just hard to find time to get together and work on the project. But we had a blast doing it. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you.